Hello all you infidels, Kufar and Islamofascist, Islamo uh, not jobs. So anyway, back again for part two about the refu well, the exposure of uh, Quacker, uh, aka Master Bodybuilder, the uh, foaming jihadist nut job. Um, anyway, as I was saying before, uh, I, I spoke to uh, Nashir Aisha earlier and left a comment on her page and this fellow Muslim brother of hers, a Muslim soldier, has replied to me. Uh, and he says, who the fuck are you and why are you leaving your retarded comments on my sister's page? Obviously this confirms that I am talking to a Muslim. Um, what the fuck are you talking about? Who did she befriend and how do you know she's befriended him, whoever he is? Um, it is at this point I say, I thought your sister in Islam may want to know that she's just befriended a fundamentalist Muslim who has issued rape threats to non-believing women. Do you wish to defend your brother in Islam for such despicable, vile and sexually perverse comments? Um, of course, it's at this point I give him proof, which was on Quacker's page, uh, Naya Aisha, this was her comment nine hours ago, uh, Salam alaikum, thanks for the invite. You have a nice channel, by the way. Peace. Um, the fundamentalist threatener of rape is Quacker. You will find your sister's comment there. You will also find out that such rape, com uh, that such rape comments by him are actually true, I'm afraid. Do you wish to defend him? Um, where's your proof of your claim? Where did he say such things and why would I ever defend rape? Fair play to you, mate. I won't defend rapists, because rapists are scum of the earth. Again, I think anything short of execution is too lenient for a rapist. That's one thing I probably agree with in Sharia law. But then, of course, that's a totally different subject. Uh, give me his channel, I tried finding it, but uh, I can't. So, I've posted that comment I've already brought up to you in Al Jazeera. Um, I live in... Leeds, West Yorkshire, UK, come and do something if you've got the balls, little cunt. I'll rape your mother and sister and set their corpses on fire. Um, it's then that I give him the link to the video here, which is watch, question mark, V equals SHP5E3ADZEC. Please feel free to use that link to substantiate my claims. So, uh, obviously... After this point, it's starting to get a bit difficult for the lad because there is unquestionable proof that what I'm saying is absolutely wrong. So we have to go back to his channel because he doesn't really want to entertain a discussion on my channel with regards to this issue anymore. Um, right, so again, I thought your sister in Islam may want to know that she's just befriended a fundamentalist Muslim. Um, again, I cite her post on Quacker's channel and give the link there uh, that's pretty much it uh, let's have a look on the next page right, oh, that was it um, I said here, the fundamentalist threatener of rape is Quacker. You will find your sister's comment there. You will also find out that such rape comments to him are actually true. I'm afraid you wish to defend him. Um, and it's at that point that we move on. So let me keep repeating myself. And he says, lol, dude, when have I ever defended him? I don't even know the guy. And from the comment you pa pasted, it looks as if like he, he dissed your mum. So what? Do you mean, so what? But anyway, lol, it's called an insult, but yeah, I asked you why you left that comment on my sister's page. I never defended whoever this guy is, lol, peace. Well, it's not an insult, it's a threat of rape. But anyway, um, I actually pointed that out to him. Lol, it's called an insult. Actually, no, it's a rape threat. I suppose rape threats can be insulting, right? Uh, he responds by saying, okay, whatever. It is why you are... <laughs> it is why are you are... Why are you crying to me about it? I've gotten threats like that many times from Christians, but I don't go around Christian channels saying, look what your Christian brother said. Lol. Uh, I'm sorry, but just because a Christian may well have said the same kind of things, does that, mu does that make it right and morally justifiable? All those who threaten rape are sick individuals. Wouldn't you agree? Uh, he says, I didn't say I made it, it made it right or justified it. I'm just saying 
is why are you going around crying about what one Muslim said to you? Uh, I'm just saying, I, I'm not crying about it. I'm just asking you to be, I'm just asking you a reasonable question. Do you think those people out there who make threats of rape as being sick minded individuals, are they mentally ill? Uh, he, says, he then says, why does it matter what I think? Yeah, I do think somebody who threatens to rape someone is sick and retarded. Happy. And then, oh, look, Quacker comes along. Hey, Kafir, shit-stained nemesis. I'm a Kafir, I'm filth. Um, I suggest you go and stop your Kafir women from bed-hopping and spreading STDs and bastard babies. We don't need to rape your Kafir women. They tend to drop their knickers for a big chip, a bag of chips. Well... Don't go threatening rape then, if they're so easy. Why do you need to threaten rape? You're a fucking disgrace. And I'll tell you what, I've got a lovely serrated blade at home, and if you ever want to get raped, I'll be more than happy to entertain you raping you with that serrated blade, you fuck pig. Anyway, uh, as you can tell, I have zero tolerance for rapists and rape it, racists. Uh, Anyway, my reply to Muslim soldier, I'm happy that you have not defended a vile excuse for a human being who thinks that rape threats are justifiable. I want to thank you for your honesty in this matter. People who threaten rape are utterly repugnant and need to be sectioned, in my opinion. Uh, I haven't had any more discourse with him, but uh, what I will do now is go back to my page and uh, show you the response from uh, his sister in Islam. Uh, Naya Isha. So, you know, Nemesis, I've just read your profile. On the surface of it, you seem like an intelligent human being. Uh, I meant you start off by saying, why should I tolerate intolerance and ignorance, which is fair. But then it becomes quite obvious that no one is more ignorant than you. What am I ignorant about? Am I ignorant that someone has actually made a rape threat to somebody on YouTube? No, not ignorant to that. But anyway, I don't have a problem with Muslims. In fact, I have Muslim friends. Lol, yeah, right, I've heard that line before. It's usually the line given before all the abuse comes out. It's normally used to soften the blow, to, so to speak. It's my opinion that Islam is repressive and regressive, totali totalitarian, intolerant. But hey, guys, I'm not ignorant, just know zero about Islam. It's my personal mission to, in life to confront this sick ideology. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the sick ideology that runs within Islam. Yes, that's right. Um, you can't confront nothing, mate. Go and take a running jump off a Sainsbury's damn donut. <coughs> so I've brought this information to her, and uh, instead of saying, oh, that's vile, but I don't agree with your points about Islam, uh, no, it's just a full-on attack, which is okay, fine, I can take that on the chin. I am British and have huge concerns with British Muslims towards the country that looks after them. Yes, and Quacker is a fucking example of it. Right? That comment right there just shows how ignorant you really are. Oh yeah, I forgot all the Muslims in the UK are unemployed or on the social. Have you any idea how much Muslims contribute in terms of taxes to this country? I didn't think so, Nemesis. Right, that's by the by. I understand that Muslims have actually contributed quite a lot, but they actually contribute a sick ideology and people like Quacker who issue rape threats and think it's per perfectly fine. I have no tolerance for fundamentalist Islam. Full stop. I don't like Islam anyway. <clears throat> there are absolutely repulsive parts of the Islamic faith. I fucking hate some of it. But to say that all of it is vile, no, I'm not going to say that. But I'm just being objective. Uh, to bite the hands that feeds them requires the master to discipline its subjects. I agree with that, yes. Well, that is nothing, Nemesis. Trust me. The billions, and I mean billions in terms of resources that are the UK, are stealing from countries such as Iraq. Uh, not to mention the millions they get from starting conflicts and then selling countries' arms. Right, I'm not oblivious to this kind of shit either. You want to debate me on it? Fine, debate me on it. But you're claiming my ignorance and you're defending somebody who's issued rape threats. So, <clears throat> let's go to her channel again. Let's have a look at her friends list. There. Let's click on this icon here. Because this is now her friend. Provide, bear in mind, I've provided proof that he's made rape comments against women. Oh look, it's Quacker. You see, how can you reason with Muslims who are so intent on defending their brethren in their faith that they ignore disgusting comments like 
I'm going to rape your mother and sister and set their corpses on fire or I'm going to rape you with broken bottles. I'm sorry, if I'm dealing with people who are sympathetic to people like this silly cunt here, then I'm sorry, you deserve everything you fucking get. Goodbye.